my amazing family and friends, happy 2023. You are welcome to your phenomenal year. And I'm so delighted to record this coaching video for you because I know that this is going to be such a profound tool for you to set up your phenomenal year and to have the kind of epic next level experiences that you actually desire. I want to show you the exact system that I use and I've used for many years and my clients use as well to really design their phenomenal year. 2023 is really loaded. It's really pregnant. It's a really defining year in many ways. And one of the things that I find most striking about this year is that it is a year with many enigmas, many riddles, many strange things. And you're going to need creativity, counsel, and codes to be able to unlock the hidden reaches uh, that, that are locked up in the year 2023. And that is why you have to go on the path of wisdom. You have to go on the path of uh, extraordinary wisdom and you have to be in pursuit of it. That is why I also know that this particular video is going to be a great blessing to you. So let me show you my seven part framework uh, and system for setting up your phenomenal 2023. They are pillars that are so simple to apply, so easy to apply, but have such a profound impact on your life, on your experiences, on your growth, and uh, the results that you can create in 2023. Seeing that this is happening at the beginning of the year, I feel like you have such a beautiful opportunity to do things better and to do things differently. And no matter how successful you have already become, there, there are still heights you have not reached and possibilities you have not experienced and potential you have not unlocked. And that is why this is an all-round gift to you as you start your year. So let me get right into this exact system that I want to see you install in your year so that you can make it incredible, you can make it phenomenal, and you can juice out the gifts that are seated and heeding and locked up in this miracle year. The first pillar within this seven part framework for setting up your phenomenal year is so simple. It's reflection. Now, I know that we are gradually becoming such a desensitized generation and you have to be careful not to be caught up in the digital dementia and in the mass mediocratization of the people where everyone is just, or most people are just moving on in this type of herd mentality, and they're just carrying on without great thought, carrying on without deep design posture, you see, and they don't have a sense of meaning and purpose that is powerful enough to channel their lives out of um, this casual sense. You see, when people are casual, they become a casualty into um, a more, you know, a more disciplined, purpose-oriented, visionary posture to life. I know that my own people are very visionary in essence, and that's why this conversation is for you, okay? The first thing that you have to set up for your phenomenal 2023 is reflection. So many people have stepped into 2023. They're already calling it their year of these and their year of fruitfulness and their year of elevation and exponential things. And all of that is great. But I want you to know that one of the most powerful kinds of wisdom that really changes your life is the one that is homegrown, the one that actually exists within the current infrastructure of your life. There is wisdom homegrown existing in your life already and is calling your attention to answers that can open you up to elevation. I teach this in Immerse Coaching Company. Uh, within our membership as transferable wisdom. And so many of our clients have literally changed their lives by using the principle of transferable wisdom. So before you invest in the coach and grow that mentorship relationship and all of those things are great and you need those this year, you also have to get coached by your life. And that's what reflection does for you. 
There are lessons that are sitting in your life that nobody else can teach you, but your life can teach you if you're looking closely through introspection and reflection. I have a powerful tool that I release at the end of every year and it's been downloaded by several thousands of people. It's the self-evaluation blueprints that really helps you look at your life across 10 areas of mastery so that you can pull out lessons. And then on the basis of those lessons, you can uh, take new decisions. You can strengthen what works. You see, you should be in 2023 saying, um, based on the appraisal of my 2022, these are the things I want to start to doing. These are the things I want to stop doing. And these are the things I want to sustain and continue doing in my life. If you don't have those kind of answers, then your life is not coaching you. And if your life is not coaching you, you don't have inside out wisdom that can deliver great value for you. So that's what we start off with. This is the exact system that I have used for many years, and it's really created big results in my life. I want you to experience that as well. Don't hurry along the year without taking your retreat, whether you can block out a set of days or a week or more, or more than a week, or you want to just have three hours every day for a whole week, just half days or quarter days to spend time quietly using the power of silence and solitude alongside the tool that I'm offering you right on the screen and in the description. Make sure you download the blueprint and 100% use it for reflection. Okay, and I know you do that. Pillar number two is repentance. Yes, 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 repentance. After you go through pillar number one, reflection, the next big thing that should happen is repentance. You have to repent of your normalized nonsense. You have to repent of your unproductive paradigms. You have to repent of your unfruitful alliances. You have to repent of your stinking thinking and your uh, mediocre mindsets, you see. Respectfully, you have to elevate in your thinking. You have to elevate in your perspectives, elevate in your investments in yourself. You have to elevate in discipline. You have to elevate in your relationship with yourself. You have to elevate in soul prosperity. You have to elevate in financial mastery. Everything that makes you a rounded prosperous, powerful, and purposeful individual requires a certain type of investment. And we all have areas of our lives where we have to do better. If you're unable to see the areas of your life where you have to do better, you're not going to be able to produce um, progressive prosperity in your life. Every one of us has to be keenly aware of what requires growth. Do you see this? You have to be keenly aware of what requires growth. And that's where repentance comes in. 2023 is for big players. I'm telling you, 2023 is for those who are ready to press past the odds because there will be odds this year. I'm telling you, there will be odds in the global economy. There will be odds in the political system. There will be odds in um, industries. There will be odds in human endeavors. That's the reality. But you are going to treat these odds as enigmas that you can solve because you will have counsel and you will have codes. And I will also show you how to access the counsel and the codes that unlock uh, the hidden riches of the year and help you triumph beyond the odds. Anyway, it's important for you to repent. You have to be able to look at your life and say, hey, I require more discipline in this area. I require more character in this area. I require more uh, information or knowledge in this area. And I repent of, you know, this habit or I repent of this relationship or I repent of this spending pattern. You see, you have to definitively know the things in your life that require adjustment and you have to repent. Repentance is not an emotional construct. Repentance is an action word. It means you're turning in your thinking and then you are turning in your response and in your attitude and in your actions and you're doing things differently. Do you understand this? So repentance is important first in your mindset and then in the way that you live and in the choices that you make. This is extremely important. Every year I have things that I repent of and at the end of the year, I review what that repentance has produced in my life. 
The third big thing that you have to do in setting up your phenomenal 2023, the third pillar in this system is actually reception. You have to receive a vision, a clear vision of 2023. Vision is not something that you just hope somehow is happening in your life and you're just going along and you're hoping that uh, some way, somehow my life is getting more visionary. That is not how it works. You have to be intentional about the pursuit of vision. If you don't receive a compelling vision, if you don't capture a picture of tomorrow that is so vivid in your heart, and it moves you in the direction of destiny, it's going to be tough to experience God's best for you. Again, you already know that I am on the side of experiencing God's extraordinary favor and God's best. I don't want you to be on the hustle lane where you're just trying to make your own life work. I want you to be plugged into the supremacy of God's supply so that from that place of seeing what is possible that God has for you, you can create your reality with ease. Do you see this? That's what creates dimensions of authority and abundance that people just always wonder about you. How do you get these things done? How you become in this person because you are propelled by God's wind? Do you see? So the third pillar you have to install in your 2023 is the power of receiving. It's the power of reception. We are in the year where you have to be strong on reception, perception, and conception. So 2023 starts to make sense when you know the defining directions for the year starts to make sense when you know the significant shifts you know the most important questions you should be asking you understand where world economies and industries are going and you get a precise or a strong sense of the unique opportunities and open doors that have your name on them because based on how things are evolving these are the unique spaces that God is cutting out for you. I know that visioning is not always so easy, right? In the midst of the noise and self-doubt and, you know, previous failures, sometimes we just feel like, I don't know what to do next. Guess what? Even people who are successful get so satiated by success that they don't know how to envision the next level. And that's why I've got vision in 2023 webinar. I've done this for a few years. It's profound. It's your comprehensive coaching compass to really see how 2023 is going to shape up. It's a profound undressing. You 100% want to register immediately. Saturday, 7th January, I am going to be with thousands and thousands of my friends and I'll be undressing 2023. From the point of really seeing the year, you are now going to be able to move forward to set your purpose goals and to be able to create uh, what you should focus on because you won't be able to do everything, but you need to find what will give you cutting edge results if you focus on them. So you need to get into Vision in 2023 webinar with me this Saturday, 7th January. And um, 100%, you will be able to, you know, get in its free access for now. So make sure that you actually register immediately and be a part of what I want to show you now. From the point of reception, where you receive a clear vision and a roadmap, a blueprint for 2023, you move on to the fourth pillar within this system for setting up your phenomenal year. And that is where you now redesign your life map. It's where you redesign your life map. Whether you have it on paper or not, can I tell you what? Every single one of us has a sense of a life map. You have an idea, whether it's just an emotional construct or it's an exact, well-documented roadmap for where you want to go. You do have a sense of where you want to go, what you prefer. You have a sense of your desires and the kind of life you want to have and the kind of successes you want to experience, right? Right. Uh, with your parenting, your your marriage, your career, your business, your relationships, um, your professional development, your legacy, your personal brand, your money, health, fitness, right? Um, you do have that sense, but it might not be exact. From receiving a clear vision of 2023, 
you move on to redesigning your life map. And three critical areas that I challenge you to actually redesign your life map or, or big tools that you want to use to be able to now have a life map for 2023. One is the 12-path um, life compass that I have, and it's really profound. Um, I'm going to put the link in the chats for you. You want to check that out. If you're a member of Immerse Inner Circle, it's free and it's available for you. If you're not a member, you should actually join my coaching membership. <laughs> it's one of the best gifts you can give yourself in 2023. I've got a women-only coaching membership, um, Immerse in Asoko, and enrollments are on currently. You should join. You have access to over 200 courses. You have support coaching. You have a community of other super achievers. Anyway, um, to be able to redesign your life map so that it empowers you to achieve greatness in 2023, you want to look at uh, filling out your 12-part life compass. You also want to use my 90-day um, goal-setting template. You've not seen anything like it before. It's really, really powerful and it gets you big results. And then you want to look at Habit, uh, habit installation protocols. And I'm going to put the link there for you. Robin Sharma has got this very beautiful habit installation protocol that he set up from 5 a.m. club. And I'm going to put the link in there for you to check it out. What I really want you to do when it comes to redesigning your life map is number one, I want you to um, take an assessment of the 12 areas of your life. And I'm going to put the link in there so that you can take a look Secondly, I want you to set specific goals um, based on my 90 day, you know, uh, goal setting template, set specific goals that will deliver the highest impact for you this year and then create new habits. Between Robin Sharma's habit installation protocol and James Clare's um, atomic habits, when you put those two together and I'll put the links for you you are definitely well on your way to be able to create new habits that will favor you in 2023. Pillar number five for you is to reach for the best, okay? It's now time to reach for the best. This is the pillar of execution, the pillar of accomplishment, the pillar of manifestation. You have to grow your capacity for execution. Again, I really teach you how to achieve what I call rapid execution when you get into my membership. If you're not there, I don't know where you are, but 100% this is the kind of year where you have to really gain mastery, execution mastery, and you have to now begin to really focus on what moves you in the direction of getting results. You have to become result-oriented and action-biased, okay? So you have to strengthen your ability to execute. You have to strengthen your ability to move in the direction of big wins. And I want to challenge you to start early. Again, I've got resources that really help you do that when you come into my membership. One of my best programs for really helping you strengthen execution is also uh, what is called the Visionary Process Blueprint and on bundling the decade. I'll put the links in there for you as well. If you don't want to get into a membership, but you want to get into an elegant, self-paced uh, signature program, I encourage you to go for um, Visionary Process Blueprint. Um, or to go for the Unbonding the Decade program. These are powerful resources that will definitely support your capacity to execute your goals. Pillar number six is the power of rallying. Now it's time to rally your forces. In 2023, you have to recognize your biggest assets. And I'm going to show you five big forces that are at work in your life and can really lead you on to epic results in 2023. You have to learn to rally your forces and be able to deploy your assets to your advantage. That is how you advance with an advantage. Now, your top five assets, your top five forces that you have to rally in year 2023, number one, you have to rally your time, your energy, your focus, your craft, and your people. 
These are five arenas, and I will teach you more about it in the Vision in 2023 webinar. I believe that you're registered already, and I'll see you on Saturday, 7th January. The seventh and final pillar for really setting up your phenomenal 2023 is that you have to release your faith. You have to release your faith. Now, I know that God is the supreme advantage for winning in life. And I have used this particular pillar so much. I have seen great wins because I released my faith. Now, don't release your faith alone without installing all of the other protocols that I have shared with you today, but 100% don't install all the other protocols and then forget about your faith. Release your faith with intention. Sow the right seeds. Um, expect to win. Have an expectation that things will work out for you. And then 100% use my, my uh, 31 track worship and declarations album to pray your way into 2023. I'm also going to put the link for that right in the description for you. So again, I am wishing you a big year. And I know that as you go on utilizing and installing this seven part framework, you're going to see results. Remember that you must begin with reflection and then you move on to repentance and then you move on to receive your vision for the year. From there, you actually redesign your life map and you reach for the best through execution, rally your forces, and then release your faith. I believe in your greatness, and I will see you this Saturday at the Vision in 2023 webinar. Enjoy your year, and remember that I'm rooting for you. I love you. I'm committed to you. I'm proud of you, and I believe in your greatness. 